I wanted to ask you, do you need any help to survive basic military training for the Air Force? Well, lucky enough, I have five tips for you all. Hi, hello everyone. It's me, Airman Dom. I am an airman in the United States Air Force Reserve out of California. So this video is going to talk about how to survive the Air Force BMT. If you're shipping out soon, here's five tips for you all. So my first piece of advice for you uh, trainees going off to BMT is going to be prepare for PT. I can't stress this enough. Me as a reservist, we had our UTAs, meaning our drill weekends, one weekend a month. We had to report out to our base. Um, lucky enough, I was close by my hometown. And basically during those UTA weekends, each day we would conduct a PT assessment, a mock-up PT assessment of what we would have to go in BMT, which consists of a mile and a half, your push-ups, and your sit-ups. So moving on to BMT, if you're in BMT and you did your initial PT assessment, which is going to be week one, you're going to be doing a one by three. What that means is your total amount of push-ups or sit-ups that you do, you will divide it by three, which gives you one third of the total number, right? Simple math. So what this means is you're going to do that number that you divided by three, and then you're going to do that number of reps within one minute. If you complete that set reps within one minute, you're going to rest for that entire minute and do it again and again until you completed three reps, which thus gives you a total amount roughly estimatedly. So I did that through my BMT basically all day. And by the time I did my final assessment, I did more and more push-ups and sit-up stuff than what I usually do. I know a lot of trainees will struggle with PT. Believe it or not, I struggled with PT beforehand. But since I found out doing one by threes and prepping before shipping out, this helped me a lot. So make sure you all train for PT. Moving on to tip number two. It's gonna be clipping your strings on your OCPs, your PT gear, blues. Make sure you clip your strings. One rule that I followed when I was in BMT is after every laundry day, I would clip strings on clothes, towels, stuff like that, that I would get back from our laundry crew. In BMT, you will need to uphold these standards that's been set on you, the trainees. These standards will be uphold to you on your RLA appraisals that will happen to you twice. I want to tell you this, that MTIs will thoroughly check your lockers and your clothing for small, small, strings and i can't stress this enough everyone they will check your clothes for these small strings so make sure you clip them nice and neat down to the bare bones all right tip number three please make sure you study for the eoc the end of course test and if you're thinking to yourself it, i'm gonna be nervous taking that test don't it's plain and simple, everyone. All you need to do is study. And this goes for anything in life. Test, exams, please study. You just need to study the topics in the EOC, which will be provided in your dorms. Your dorms should have a little bulletin board posted of all of the topics that will be on the EOC later on. Also, you could check your iPad to see which topics will be on the EOC. And ladies and gentlemen, coming from a top graduate, I wanna tell you some ways that you can prepare for the end of course test. So this is my notebook that I used in BMT. I bought this at the BX, the mini mall at Lackland, and this has 180 pages. And I did not use much. I only used one subject side to it. As you guys can see, Boom, boom, right? Simple college stuff where you would have to highlight 
and write all of the important notes. So I took good important key notes and I highlighted each topic. And then later on in a day, I would add some notes that I forgot in the lesson on the iPad. But I just want to show you how I write my notes. Main topic highlighted in one color and then one topic and then another. And then each um, key point, I would highlight it in a different color just to make everything look nice and neat. Tip number four. Don't worry guys, we're almost done with this. So tip number four for me is gonna be follow directions and speak up. This is basic advice for your time at BMT. So just make sure you listen to your MTIs and really listen out to your MTIs if they're yelling because that might be an answer that you're thinking in your head. So that's why your MTIs yell to make sure other trainees can hear. So don't feel uh, nervous when an MTI yells. You're just making sure the other trainees listen and know what the trainee is uh, asking or why they're doing a, uh, they're doing a task a certain way and also just make sure to be confident especially if you're doing child runners that is going to be a task during child time where the shark table is going to be full of mtis maybe an officer just make sure you speak up and be confident in yourself all right Tip number five is gonna be how to roll clothes perfectly. I wrote some notes on my computer right in front of me, but here's some general advice to roll them as tight as possible and to follow the iPad instructions as much as you can. Some MTIs can show you some techniques. You also can learn from other people in your dorm. Make sure you get help from others if you're struggling. And now you're probably thinking to yourself, but Airman Dom, I can't roll clothes by myself or I don't know how to roll. Maybe you do, maybe you don't, but here's the catch right now. I'm gonna tell you a super secret technique for all of you watching the video right now. And I'm gonna be showing you and sharing you how to do it. So we're gonna be showing you how to roll socks perfectly 10 out of 10. This, you could do it by yourself. You don't need another, but I got a pair of socks right here, right in front of me. How I do this is go to one side of your bedpost, specifically towards your um, wall locker. So I have my socks like this. I don't know if you guys could see. I place the bottom layer sock and then the top layer and I get about one inch to two inch, correct? Now what I would do is lift up the bed with one bedpost, place it right on top of the two so right here right in the sweet spot right you have it laying down now the next step to this is I'm gonna be over here pulling on the sock like so now I'll be on this side pulling both socks now as you can see on the flip side the bottom layer does not quite match the top side right right I would pull the bottom side so it could be all even make sure if you're on if you're pulling it, make sure it's nice and even. Then I will make a little triangle necessarily, like so, little triangle. And then with that tension, with that tension, I would simply roll. Roll nice and neat, okay? Roll nice and neat, keep it tight. And then once you're at the end, lift up the bed post Come right here, boom, boom, and then just finish. Necessarily, you want a nice hard rock like that. I don't know if you guys could see that. And then on the other side, you want a nice little smile. You want a nice smile. Obviously, mine isn't tight, but you get the idea of having a smile right here. Keep it nice and neat, all right? Oh, I got one more super secret technique for you all watching. In our dorms, we called it the machine. 
So the machine consists of two chairs and two security trays. You're gonna need four trainees, one sitting on each chair, yourself as well as another wingman. So what we did, if we had the chairs lined back to back to each other, the security trays will be right on the chair legs. It's gonna create a nice little path, a nice little um, empty space between the two um, security trays. And then we would fold the shirts and place it right in the middle between the two security trays. Yourself, and your wingman will pull it and then one more roll and necessarily you'll create perfect tight roll within the shirt the only downside to this is you're gonna need um fellow airmen with you fellow trainees doing this task so ladies and gentlemen these are my top five tips for you all to survive bmt i hope you guys enjoy this video Please make sure to give a like on this video so I know you guys like this type of content. Also, comment down below when you're leaving and when you're shipping out to BMT. If you guys know your AFSE, comment that down below. I want to see who is a fellow um, 2T2 in this section and we'll see you in the next video.